Hey there friends, this video is sponsored by Humankind and today we're going to destroy humanity. I'm sure of it. I've done it before, I'll do it again. The link for the game can be found in the description, but without further ado, let's get started. Because frankly, I don't really like the smile this person's given me. <laughs> it's creeping me out. Empire symbol. Well, these are all pretty nifty. I'm gonna go with the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Neanderthals, but I want my symbol to still be a gun. Change avatar. Oh, thank God, you can stop smiling at me like that. That's arguably worse. All right, I'm liking that I can make my own avatar and, you know, customize it my way because I want him to be an absolute monster. Thoughtful, passionate, inspirational, explosive, cruel. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with that. What chin do I want? Uh, Jay Leno, please. Thank you. My person has the most punchable face I've ever seen. I'll give him an e-girl look too. <laughs> he was ahead of his time. Oh, sweet Jesus. Might need a few filters for TikTok though. Sweet Jesus. He's like something out of Mad Max. I can understand why you're angry now. Okay. I think we're done. <laughs> oh, he likes it, surprisingly. Even have a little dance to the music. All right, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, current era, Neolithic, current culture, nomadic tribe, but we have a gun as our symbol. It's just a simple cave drawing for now, but we'll work on the proper blueprints later. Oh, is that me? <laughs> I've had a few too much as usual. How far will you push humankind? I'll push it off a cliff. I'm ready. The little gun symbol. That is brilliant. Good job, everyone. We have our first outpost. I hope there's not like a volcano here or anything or like a stadium. That'd be so irritating. Wait, what the hell is this? Is this someone else's border? Wait, my people have invented violence. <laughs> they started fighting. Hidebound fists. Oh god, they've invented boxing. Yeah, I'm gonna encourage that. That's gonna be entertaining for me. If we can learn more about traumatic brain injury earlier in humanity's life, It'll help a long way down the road. What the hell is this? Can I take you? <laughs> oh, you're mine now. No, no, we're attacking. Sorry. Be with us. Wait, the animal feckin' one? Jesus, you're useless. Oh, no, you got him. Okay, I forgive you. You've earned one era star and may now choose a new culture. Okay. This one seems to be the most violent one. I'm gonna adopt that one. We advance as the warlike Assyrian. <laughs> yes, war. Everyone's so happy. You're not going to be a very nice neighbor. Are you? No, no, I'm not. You read me perfectly. I'm just looking for my neighbors to kill. Providing high border defense, this fortified citadel allows... Yeah, dominance, perfect. As soon as I read that, I'm in. <laughs> I can change it to a city? Ooh, look at them build. They're fast. These horsemen seek wealth and power for the empire. Yeah, let's get horsies. Greetings to the Nubians. Oh, yes. Time to kill the noobs. A neighbor who may be more interested in commerce than conflict. Ah, that's perfect. They won't put up much of a fight then. For both of our assets. Aspirations. Oh, you want to negotiate, do you? I don't even need open borders. I'm allowed trespass because of what I picked. All right, we don't need to talk here then. We have nothing to talk about. Refuse. Wait, who are you? Where's my guy? What's this? A sanctuary. Rich, diverse habitat with plenty to... Oh, okay, great. Uh, let's ransack this. Let's get up! Jesus, they're going nuts. Oh, sweet Jesus. Will I even be able to win this? All right, let's try. Just about. Feckin' hell, I don't know. Was that worth it? I'm gonna create an outpost here for the horses. I'm gonna need them if I want to do some proper ransacking. Ah, oh, finally, I found a city. It's feckin' miles away, though. You're under attack. From what? Oh, wait, they attacked me? What, just because I came close to the city with bad intentions? Bit of an overreaction. All right, I'm working on horses. That'll show them. They probably won't even understand what's going on. Wait, they're running away. What? <laughs> they just killed my guy and then ran away. Look how far they went. Does that mean the city is just open for attack? Guess I can ransack it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, they're coming back. <laughs> They've realized what they did. I feel like I'm overconfident because of that little gun on my symbol. It just looks like I'm way ahead of the game here and I need to fire on them as soon as they get anywhere close. They're using sticks and I have a Glock. I think their city has been fully ransacked. Yeah, it's destroyed now. <laughs> I'll just sneak away around the mountain. <laughs> oh, now we turn back and fight them. A draw? How is it a draw? Wait. We lost everything? How did everyone die? How was no one standing? I think they both just went, you know what? We don't really understand why we're even fighting. Let's just go home. And they just left. Well, there goes my army. Not to worry, I'm replacing them with horses anyway. Wait, I think a new little civilization has started. Some local mercenaries just started their own civilization. I gotta go over there and teach them a lesson. You know, try and better your lives, will you? And I just show up on horseback. Nice little town here. It'd be a shame if someone attacked it. The siege begins. I think just 
maintain this siege. We'll just wait outside. I don't really want to go into them. They have sticks. All right, I guess I'll just figure out how to build a battering ram as I stand by their gates. When a troubling truth has submerged with one of my cities, many servants from the city's pounds have been castrated. Punish. Forced labor on them. Is that, is that the, the people who've already been castrated? Am I punishing them again? I don't understand. All right, now I'm working on a siege weapon. Then I can take their city. I feel like this shouldn't have been so hard. Like, they just started that place. Natural right or divine mandate. Our supremacy is ordained for we are the chosen ones. Yeah, let's pick that one. That seems to leave a lot of interpretation of right and wrong. Yeah, that's how I like it. I like it ambiguous, so then I can always rule in my favor. Farmyard animals are now being put on trial for crimes. Oh God, what have I done? A herd of cattle were sentenced to be burnt on a pyre for conspiring against the empire. Yeah, I'm just going to go along with this. I, like, I am the one in charge and I'm not taking the risk. Maybe the cows were plotting against me. Non-relenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city. Just gamble and let's leave it to fate. We are putting a lot of our culture in the hands of God, so it's up to him now. It's a good way of just, like, abandoning responsibility. It's like, oh, that's God's job, not mine. Create your religion. Oh, sure. Disaster. The rains fell, fell some more, and then fell with even greater vigor. I thought God was on our side. Why even bother creating a religion? Professional soldiers. Yeah, we're gonna need better soldiers. That siege kind of failed. I just left because we were stuck at the gates and we couldn't make any progress. Declare war against the Greeks? Sure. Oh, look how strong we are. Yeah, let's get ready to assault. Stone rings. Yeah, you know what? Feck it. Just to confuse people in the future how we even built this or why. Okay, so I assume I need to wait here a while to occupy this this city before I can move on and terrorize the next people. I think I'm inventing war. <laughs> 12 seconds later. Jeez, I'm getting attacked from all angles. I guess I'm not surprised. I have just been attacking everyone. I don't even know how many people I'm at war with at the moment. I know I'm at war with the Greeks. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, you're very polite considering I'm trying to destroy you. Wait, you demand that I pay you to end the war? But I, I'm winning. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> Another city to attack. <laughs> oh, I can get another other culture thing. Anything about, you know, war and just being kind of a dick. I could be goth. Oh my god, you guys are so lame. I'm just gonna, like, take over all of your cities. Oh, the Romans, what can they do? Increase the size of my army, get these fancy guards. You gotta be dressed to kill. I'm adopting that. It changes up their clothes a little bit. Interesting. Yeah, I was reading about it, and it did say that it would adapt to what you do and whatnot, because you're kind of rewriting history. You can combine up to 60 historical cultures as you lead your people and then as you go through the eras you could kind of adopt different cultures and adapt to that that's pretty neat i tell you what else is neat just stealing other people's cities it's way easier than building them oh, i'm getting a cutscene. though the romans did indeed appreciate intangibles i might be tempted to say that their most famous creation was their legions. I don't know, that other thing they did was pretty cool. I really like it, where you just like have a load of food and then you get sick and then you just eat loads more food. No, that's not healthy. That wasn't a good invention. It's, you're right, you're right. Go with the military stuff. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd run away. <laughs> now that I'm Roman, both in culture and, you know, I'm just kind of roaming around killing things. I actually need this, whatever this is. Copper? Yeah, I need copper to make my upgraded army, so let's go kill them. They keep running away from me. <laughs> I already blame them. I have a massive army now. Look at them celebrating that they just built a mine. Well, you know what's funny about that? It's a little bit ironic, but that's mine now. Did they even stay here to defend it? Did they leave? Okay, well, it's mine now, which means I should be able to to make Roman stuff, right? What's that stuff called? Bronze. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm just getting really immersed. I'm trying to be like in their frame of mind. They don't know what it is. I don't either. I'm not stupid. I really, I'm, I'm very intelligent. I'm looking for more of them. I'm just moving on. We're taking more and more cities. I could be making them like I have enough points, but I'm just having too much fun being a bit of an ass. Oh, wait, I'm being attacked. Oh, Jesus, they got around me. All right, let's just fight it out. I'm in the city, so they did feck and take it back, but I can come back around for them. Oh, God, now I'm being attacked over here. Jesus, they're everywhere. I might be spreading my army a little bit too thin. The Greeks are about to lose their war support. Oh, good, because <laughs> they're getting very annoying. Oh, wait, you want to actually end it? You're forcing the Greeks to surrender. Select surrender terms you want from them. All of their demands will be erased. <laughs> so I had 88 war support. Give me Tevel and Wasuak. Uh, was, was, I'm, 
<laughs> I'm gonna call that one Kork. <laughs> oh wait, that one costs 80. Jeez, that must be a big one. Okay, give me that one then. I'll take one city, that's fine. And, and give me 80 gold on top of that too. Their grievances that I'm trespassing. <laughs> really? You just end the war and then you're like, come on, get off my lawn. It's been great doing business with you. <laughs> you look like you're on the verge of a nervous breakdown. All right, I guess we'll go pick on someone else. Uh, you, you're unfortunate enough to be close to me. I'm coming over. Wait, this guy is a descendant of kings and wants restitution? Belittle him. <laughs> to amuse the court, we will ridicule the man and send him on his way. Prophecy. Bah. Stupid little man thinks he can intimidate me. The game of dice has become a favorite in all my cities. I'm gonna allow gambling. I'm gonna be the Vegas <laughs> of this era. Uh, you guys gotta figure out how to make neon lights now. <laughs> but they're like, Oka Puka, me no even understand wheel. The decision to not interfere with wages in a game of dice is paid off. Yay! Our culture is built on bad decisions. Hello. <laughs> I'm just here to attack more people. I would like this city. Thank you. Wait, who is this? The Greeks? No, don't say yes. No, we're going to war with you later again. <laughs> They're like, uh, uh, what? <laughs> That's right. I want to be the one to invent Greek yogurt. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why is my influence going down <laughs> so much? Oh, I'm over a city cap. Okay, I have too many cities. Well, sorry for being successful. This is the definition of suffering from success. Oh my God, I'm supposed to only be controlling two. Can I just burn down some of my cities? I like how that's the first thing I go to, not give them freedom or anything. Just like, ah, can I just burn them so no one else can have them? Oh, I forgot, I need to rename this one so I can understand it. Yeah, I'm gonna change the English language so it's all caps all the time. It'll make YouTube video titles totally normal. Like I can liberate them, but I don't really want to. All right, look, what if I liberate it? And then I come in and I just attack it. The people I just freed and I'm coming in to attack them. Yeah, this is just like liberating them and killing them for no reason. But I guess that'll do it for me. Like, at least now they won't be powerful. <laughs> They're a very weak army. God, they do not trust me. I wonder why. I was like, bye, you can have the city. And then I came back the next day and slaughtered them all. all. Right, you can be liberated too. And you as well. They must be terrified. They're like, we saw you did it. The other cities. Wait, oh no, the guy's back. You still remember the filthy stinking man who promised to curse the empire? That was me. Oh, you mean the other one? Okay. You remember his blazing eyes too as you ridiculed him. The whole court laughing. Now, whether it was by his hand or not, war has come to the empire. The people believe he did indeed curse them and now there's unrest in all cities. All I can do is reminisce. The Greeks must be furious. Like I took all those cities just to torture the people and abandon them. Hail, sovereign. Yeah, hey, hail to you too. I'm coming for you. <laughs> just to declare war immediately. Look, my people are angry. It's the only thing that keeps their mind off things. Culture vulture. <laughs> I got an achievement. All right, attack. There you go. Take that, Greece. You deserved it. They're just like, why though? Now I'm just ransacking their other city. Especially since I apparently have to bribe this guy to not start a revolution. Now I'm ransacking the city itself. Their war support is going down a lot. It's just one guy left standing on this after the fight and he's still ransacking. Such morale. The Greeks have a war support of 18. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, I found an old civilization and I'm afraid because we don't know who made it. Okay, how am I gonna be immortalized? Uh, the Empire's greatest poets, playwrights, dramatists, and more will pen a thousand tales. Yes, that one. Or, you know, you could just make YouTube videos about me, whatever you prefer. I think I have destroyed their city completely. Yeah, I think that's just burned to ashes. There's nothing left. Let's fight. No, come back. I want to fight. <laughs> yeah, there we go. They're dead. Now their war sports down to 13. This is going great. Close to victory. All right, just before we win, let's just ransack the city. <laughs> and my one archer dude, you can ransack sack uh Okay, there's nothing left to ransack. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's been a rough day. Haha, <laughs> yes, forcing surrender. Oh, I can almost just ask them to become a vassal to the Romans. They need to be punished a bit more, though. Just give me the money <laughs> for a surrender. Thank you for all of your cash. I can't really support any more cities. All right, I think I've succeeded in what I set out to do. I ruined humanity, specifically for the Greeks. If you're from Greece, I'm sorry. But thank you to Humankind for the sponsor again. If you want to check it out yourself, it's on Steam, Epic Games, it's on the Xbox game. Pass and the Stadia. The link for the game will be in the description below. I would recommend it for sure. It's a very fresh take on this kind of game. I, I really have enjoyed it. I really like all the choice-based stuff like that as well and the culture shift 
as you progress in what choices you, you take. I like that a lot. I think how you win is fame as well. So the player with the most fame. Yeah, up here. So was I the most famous? I was not. I was the third most famous. But I'm sure I would have got there just by wiping out anyone who's more famous than me. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.